the tape. <laughs> oh my goodness, we have five people waiting, Megan. Hello, good afternoon. Hi, Mary. Hello, Lisa Avery. Oh my gosh, you guys were all waiting for these few minutes. Excellent. We are here. Let me uh, make sure that we have our sound, our, our little thing turned on. Nope. Our mic. Come on. Why is that not working? Oh my gosh, it's always something, you guys. Always something. That's why. Um, I'm checking my connections. I hope everybody's good. Let's see. Oh, ha <laughs> ha, this will help. Let's hook it right into the phone. Yes. <laughs> I feel like like it's always here, right? There we go. There we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome. It is the Basement Chronicles. Can I sit in this? Huh? Can I sit in this? Yes, you may. It is week, it's week seven, right? Am I in camera? Kind of. It's like this. Oh. <laughs> You're not going to be looking at my face much longer anyway, so um, we can, okay, we go. you can go, you're good, I was going to say, we can nope. move it up like that, perfect, so you go ahead and keep doing that, alrighty, <laughs> perfect, or, well, Megan hit it perfect, oh, <laughs> That's it. you have to excuse me, yesterday I took my first TRX class with my daughter, and, she um, did awesome, Thank you, Megan. Thank you very much. Thanks for putting the pressure on me. Today, I'm having difficulty even sitting on the toilet. Yes. I just have to be honest with you. I've been there. <laughs> By tomorrow, hopefully, things will be better, and then I'm going to start the cycle all over again. But it does get better every time. It, it does. It does. So, hey, we have another awesome project here for this week. And um, I'm going to show you what we did ahead of time and what other people did ahead of time. We picked up this little radio cabinet, oh gosh, I think this summer at a local shop. I don't even remember, I think I paid like $5 for it. They had already started stripping it and I really um, thought that the finish was beautiful. And so I decided that this finish is not so beautiful. I wanted to keep this wood and then create uh, or choose a paint that would complement this wood tone. And I, I know what I talked about upstairs, Megan, and literally in the past like 30 minutes, I've completely changed my mind. That's fine. I do think you're gonna have to show that paper up close more. Oh, I'm going to, okay. yeah. So um, I see where it was stripped and there's still some of this finish that was left on here. And I'm going to turn this piece, if I can, try to show you um, this side here where it didn't get completely stripped. So I put some of my green stripper on that and it's already stripping off. So see that? So I will finish stripping this little bit of paint off of here. That is such a pretty little It's a piece really, of really pretty piece of furniture, Megan. It really is. So um, yeah, I'm glad. I, I'm only gonna strip this part. I'm not doing the legs because, oh my gosh, it's just so labor intensive to do those legs. But I used my favorite green stripper, which is right behind Megan. I don't even know if this brand is available anymore or if it's um, if it is now under a different name, but I love this stuff. I love it. So and it really does work well. It's not stinky, it's not caustic. Um, but if you put in like 
green stripper. Um, gosh, I'm probably going to be demonetized, aren't I? Why? I don't know. Can you say Same. stripper? Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, um, it just works so well. It really does. Tell us hello. Julie says, hi, Lynn. I had time to catch another live. I wanted to tell you how much I love the new DIY boho colors. Thank you for taking your time to show them to me. You know what, Julie? They, Julie Ferrone? Yes. yes. Thank you. I have a project in mind for those boho colors, the boho brights, and I'm super excited about that. I think they were really, really pretty, pretty product. Lisa says... Um, done a couple of those old radio cabinets. They I make know. Great storage cabinets. They really do. So um, I'm not going to continue this stripping right now, but you can see how easily, if you've got the right stripper, how easily that can come off. All right. Tina. So um, what I'm going to do is show you now what I have, what we've done on the inside. So my dear, dear husband actually did this, I think yesterday. So inside, all of the guts were already out of it. So what JR did is he added a nice piece of trim here to close off the opening that was there. And he put in two shelves. One of them is stationary. One of them is um, removable. He did a nice job. I think it's beautiful. So uh, back to how I'm going to finish this. This right here was um, was stripped as well. So I taped that off because I want to keep this natural wood that's on here. And if you could see up close, I'm not sure if you can. But there are some like black, um, there's some black streaks, wood grain throughout this stripped wood right here. There's a little bit of black underneath here. It was probably like the old finish maybe. And I wanna keep this because I think that it adds a little bit of texture. And then I can, I can complement it with that dark paint color. So um, I'll be using, uh, DIY black velvet today to paint this but first I want to show you how we're going to handle the insides of these doors and I'm going to go ahead and do one of them right now do we want to zoom in or probably yeah we just got in stock and they're on our website these in I'll add the link these are incredible these are really handmade are. rice papers they're big Yep. And they're like $8.95. But we got them, I think, in five different colors. They're yeah, all on our website, but look at these colors. And so I wanted to um, use one of these on the inside of the cabinet doors. I'm going to decoupage the inside of the cabinet doors with one of these new um, papers. Um, Brenda has a question. Sure. I'm when we'll be getting the new JRV spring papers. Um, we have them on order, I think. Wait a minute. You told me that you were ordering them. Yes, yes, we do have them on order. They should be here <laughs> soon. Yes, here. I know, Megan's, oh my gosh. So many things to remember. So yes, we will be having those. We have also officially become a Roy Cycled. Um, okay, see, I didn't know that. Yep, I just, uh, just did that. Wow. I'm making sure that all of my paint here, I washed this, I've sanded down to make sure that all of my paint is, is not loose. It's nice and secure. I've given it also a light sanding. Okay, let's go over to this door. Megan, can, are you able to see? Yep, hold on just a okay. Oh, can I see? Yeah, not close up, but it's up to you. I don't know how close you'd like to be. How close would you like to be? Um, I think probably closer than, than that. Okay. And where we are. Because the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get this on here. And I'm trying to decide if I want to. I think that I'll trim. 
or fold or tear these to size. Are you happy with this? Sure. Yep. That looks great. Okay. So I made it. On the side and look at these papers. They're beautiful. They all have a metallic in them, and I it's just the right amount of glitz, right, Megan? It's exactly what you wanted. Megan's always telling me, it would be great if... Just a little Just a touch of gold, Mom. Just a touch. Okay, and I am just... Again, I'm just giving this a nice sharp crease with my thumbnail. And tearing this off. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Rice papers are so easy to kind of tear the way that you want them to. They are gorgeous, Joanne. They're beautiful. Ava asked, how come you don't remove the door? She's curious. Uh, you know, it's funny, Ava. JR asked me the same thing today. And I just decided that it would be maybe a little easier for me to show you the finished piece with these doors on. So we're just going to kind of work. We're going to be working vertically on these doors. I'm only doing one of them. Forgive me. Oh. <laughs> so I have my Fusion Decoupage and Transfer Medium. This is nice and thick, a thick gel. I do want to use this with this particular paper because it's a heavier paper. Oh, Leah's here. She left work so she could watch. Leah, Yay. you're here. <laughs> you are here, girl. It's so awesome. She made it. It makes me really happy. I know I missed her because we didn't see her this Friday. She I know. She was a guest reader in her, um, I can't remember if you said it was your niece or your nephew, um, in the, for their class. Nice. Hopefully we'll see you this week. All right. So what other exciting news do we have coming up? I shared with our text group last night that... Um, this is a pretty big week for us. We yes. have, um, there's a lot going on. We, there's a lot going on. There's new IOD coming tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So make sure you pop over to Facebook and watch the sisters at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time when they reveal the first part of a new release. Um, when they when they're done with their live we will have our website ready to go with those products so that you can you can grab them when you can <laughs> and yep. um, we have everything ready to go yes and then I have a video that I've done for IOD that will be going live tomorrow about maybe six o'clock on YouTube and so we'll you'll want to watch here that. know how fast I ship so if you order them, Thursday, they will be out Friday morning. If not, and well, no, not Thursday night because it'll be too late, but yeah. Friday morning they'll be out. Okay, Lisa. If you can do it either way, Lisa, she she has a cart with a few things in it, was going to order it today. Should I wait till tomorrow? I can always combine them. I'm not set shipping anything out um, today. So. Megan has also added a notes option. Yep, you can write that as a note. Like in the notes section in your cart, you can just say, please combine with my order tomorrow or something, and I'll see that. So I have a little bit of overhang here that I'm not worried about. I will come back later with a piece of sandpaper when this is dry to sand this off and get a really nice edge on this. I just didn't do that overall because I want to be able to close this door um, to show you what I am going to do on the rest of the piece. Okay, Michelle said she sent you a picture of a radio cabinet she did with yes. Amy and Michelle Tahitian. Yes, book. it was her fancy Tupperware cover. It's so cute, yes. Okay, so here we go. Let's start painting this cabinet. How about that? But well, won't that make a pretty in interior door? Yes. 
really pretty. It has just the right amount of gold that my daughter needs. Okay, so what are you about to paint and then we'll adjust the cam? I am going to be painting, um, I'm going to start with the side. So I'll turn this. Sorry. I should have put this on something, but whenever I put it on the, the it wheels, <laughs> it just moves away. So, um, and I kind of have not decided yet how I want to paint the spindles. I'm, I'm still debating how I want to paint the spindles. So, um, I may paint them black and then, yeah. then we have this wood contrast. I'm thinking, do I want to paint them gold? Which could be really pretty too. Actually, all of this could be pretty. Oh, see? My, oh my gosh! I can't, I, no. I, yes, you can do whatever you want. I know, I know, but I hate to paint over this. I hate to paint over this good wood. <laughs> wow. That's all been <laughs> beautifully stripped by someone. This is much better than the thing we usually use. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, we can get more height on it. And it's well, it's actually... smooth. it moves much more smooth. Nice, it's yeah. It's not like me uh, shaking it. Perfect. Okay, Nancy said she really looks forward to the basement projects that encourages oh, her to Oh, Nancy, work on her that's things. so great. Of course, true to form, you guys. You wouldn't believe it. But after I'm done today, we are headed out to uh, pick up a a van load of furniture can you believe it um <laughs> yeah megan's like dying whatever it's not my problem <laughs> <laughs> i'll put my earbuds in when you're complaining that you have too much furniture <laughs> no well actually you know we've been selling a lot of furniture in the shop so we're low on furniture right now um and believe it or not i think maybe Next week, we should probably show like what progress we've made back in the back. Okay. But man, I could keep this going all year with stuff in the basement, you know? Well, we have to. Yeah. Committed to doing that. We are. <laughs> so you're you right. Can and you will. Yes, I sure will. So, Debbie's DIY obviously is our chalk based paint and. Uh, I need a little bit of water. I was just about to do a spit wash. So, how would you like the I just didn't, to be in a cup? Yeah, that's fine. I just didn't know how much you guys would appreciate that, even though you've all done it. Every I one of you not. have done it. <laughs> if you are furniture painters or painters or crafters of any kind, you have definitely done a little spit, spit wash, right? Come on, I know you have. Finally bought some of the Pine Lane Crackles, so she did a crackle Yes! Yes, Melissa! Nancy asked if you panic when you see um, an empty space. Yes, I do, Nancy. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you, I do, because I like to keep things like moving and I really panic when uh, we have somebody that purchases something and then we don't get it delivered until the next week because it doesn't make sense for us to move it to the basement again right. and then then load it in the vehicle again. So um, it's just moving furniture too many times. So we had a buffet that someone purchased last week and then we had to just leave it on the floor because it didn't get delivered until this week. Asked what are you going to do with the door fronts? She's so glad you're on today because she's recovering from back surgery but doing great. Susan, oh my goodness. So what are you going to do with the door fronts? I'm going to do the same thing. And then I'm just going to do a little wet distressing, I think. Lovely. I think this is going to totally change the appearance of this cabinet. Somebody at some time, th this is the way it goes. This is the way that it goes with uh, painting, stripping, Furniture, painting, wood, natural wood, paint, all that, that whole cycle. This probably dates from, this dates from, you know, early 1900s, 1920 probably by the looks of it. And it was probably original wood. Somebody 
painted over this that yellow color and did that that classic um, antiquing that we did back in the 70s. Remember those antiquing kits? When we had um, Harvest Gold, Avocado Green, those kinds of colors, and then we antiqued over them. Yeesh. Oh, oh, so many, so many paint jobs were glazed over with those those antiquing mediums from now back in the day. Yep. So, so somebody um, originally painted this, and then they put antiquing glaze over it because there's a couple layers of paint. And then somebody started to strip it. So there you go. How's that? And now I'm painting it again. <laughs> there's, no, it's not snowing here, Daniel Shaw. She said they've gotten almost four inches in northeastern Pennsylvania with about six more predicted today. Our Linda has a storm coming. I heard. Florida. Yeah, I heard we've got some. I've heard we've got some snow coming to the northeast this weekend. I'm not sure what direction it's coming from, but yeah. It's a coming. Megan, you want to check the camera angle? Yep. All right, here we go. Are we ready? I have to sit. <laughs> I'll, I'll just adjust it. I'll adjust it. It's good. You're good. Oh, okay. All right. I'm good. I'm using my Paint Pixie um, brush here that has the little point on it. What are these called? The French tip. Yeah. So that I can get into all of this right here, only to wipe it back later. Yeah. Snowing in Connecticut. Uh, is it, so is it going to snow here again now? I think it is, Megan. It's really not straight. We're still in the middle of winter. I know, Mom. I just counting down. Counting down. I would not mind if it snowed while we were in Florida. Yeah, yeah like just as we were leaving from Florida, if it was snowing now and then mm -hmm. it was, that would just be, I would love that extreme change. Like you probably just had in California. Laura has a 52-foot container full of furniture filled to the roof and all the way back. This motivated me to work on my Stop stuff. it. Oh, my gosh. Is it for a shop, a booth? Do you just like to paint furniture? What do or you do? do? you hate painting furniture, and that's why it's all in there. <laughs> that's why it's all still there, right? You just like collecting it. Yeah, Nancy, these ones, I don't typically enjoy Well, it's been okay. The lighting, our lighting situation is better. And honestly, that's where I do all my shipping anyway. Oh, Jane said the snow's already at her house. It's coming from the south. Is it, Jane? That's Jane in central New York by yes. Ham near Hamilton? Yeah. That's right, Leah. Mom just did a project earlier, and I said, you know what it needs. A little bit of gold. And I'm always right. Okay? Oh, my gosh, you guys. I've been working on this, this project for a few days and I'm so stinking in love with it. I am so in love with it. I cannot wait to show you guys. Yeah, it's really pretty. I mean, honestly, if you want to think about it, I really inspired quite a bit of what you did with it. Can I just get any credit ever? <laughs> you get to be the artist, but every once in a while I come in and edit. <laughs> okay, fine. And I have a great suggestion. You said, when I did the stencil, she was like, no, and almost like, and then she was like, I did not do that, <laughs> but I did say that I thought you should like go in and, and do your own painting over it. Yes, she did, and uh, and so I did, and then of course, in Megan's true fashion, it was. Mm, I really feel like it just needs a little, a little bit of gold, mom. And it did. And so, that's and it what did. I did. So, I am laying a nice coat over this. I am not going to get complete coverage with my first coat. Remember, I am going over a high contrast color. So, keep that in mind. 
when you're using DIY paint, I'm going to let this dry and then I'll come back in and do my second coat. And what I'll do is I'll give it a little bit of spritz of water, a, a mist of water to make my second coat glide better over this. Laura has a booth and a lot of the stuff she found on the side of the road, so it all needs a lot of TLC. It's just hard to pass that stuff up. It truly it? is. Hi, Donna. I know. They're having weird weather in Alabama, too, says Nancy. Uh -oh. One day it's in the high 70s, the next it's freezing. They're moving into a tornado time. See, uh -oh. we do, it gets miserable this time of year because we're so ready for strict spring, but we don't have extreme weather. Look what I, I am do. very grateful for that. We don't have, like, besides, like, a crazy snowstorm, and we all kind of know how to handle that. Yeah, we Here, do. Here, we're so yeah. used to it. We don't have dangerous weather for that. And it's already in the 80s in Florida, Mom. Do you oh have your bikini ready? No, I do not. <laughs> I, I need a few something. more TRX classes for that. Not only do I need that, but just to wear shorts, I was I blown know. away. I was trying on outfits. My legs are so pasty <laughs> pale. It is horrifying. I know. I, I know. don't even know. I know. To do. And last time I tried to do like a like a faux tan. It was embarrassing because I it was switch that over to here. you could actually tell. <laughs> yeah. It was like you could see my handprint. It's like, oh, there's a pasty and then they're all trying with to a, a tan. Yeah, with an orange handprint and then a streak. Like you'd see a, a bloody handprint in a horror movie. Right. That's what oh it was my like. Gosh. It was very bad. Oh, I wear sunscreen too, so you don't have to tell me. I just lectured mom and JR this morning about I'd like them to get some sun hats <laughs> for the we trip. Will. Uh, there's, I, I actually, in my Amazon cart right now, I have UPF gloves that I'd like to start wearing while I drive. What? Yeah, that will protect. I do put sunscreen on my hands always before I drive, but the glove is nice. Okay. <laughs> okay. How late do you have to stay up Thursday night? Not late. We should be able to do it, what, around like 6 o'clock? Hopefully. Huh? Yep, yep. I will yeah. send a text. To all my text groupies, yes. um, if you are not on our text list, that's the way you're going to find out the most instant way possible. We will send out an email as well. So um, be sure to um, sign up for email if that's your preference. Snow just started in Massachusetts. She's right on oh. the New Hampshire border. I wonder if my son is in Nantucket right now. But there'll be snow there and it'll be so pretty. Okay, yeah, the DIY boo boo wipes do clean. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I thought you were actually talking about the <laughs> brand boo boo wipes because that is a wipe and I do like those. Oh, but she's saying, I love how DIY boo boos wipe clean oh, with okay. water or spit. Gotcha. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Somebody else recognizes. Yeah. Exactly, Jane. She said, "Oh, Megan, I always say my skin tone is skin tone is fresh out of ICU pale." <laughs> That's well, you're a awesome. redhead. I'm not a redhead. So fresh That's out of an awesome. ICU or like fresh out of a cast, right? <laughs> like my legs were in a cast. There's oh, no muscle. Like after the winter, there's no muscle tone or color to them. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh yes, I can. I can imagine it very well. Oh. I just saw it last night. <laughs> yes. So I may be wearing pants. As well. well, let's see. We, I have not only pasty white legs, but more cellulite. That I need actually probably about a year's worth of TRX in order to put a bathing suit on again. I might need a double leg replacement. <laughs> We are thankful for these legs of yeah, ours. Yes. They truly can for us. pants, for full length pants. And <laughs> in 80 skirts. degree weather. And, uh, isn't the Mennonite style coming back in anyway? Oh my gosh. So I just dressing fully. You know what? Skirts. That's the That's answer. What I, said. I already, I'm on it. I just bought three t shirts. <laughs> you can't wear a maxi skirt, Mom. I'm sorry to say that. I can wear one to here. Yeah, that's still you. You have a lot of leg exposed. Well, that I don't a mind. A lot of leg. I don't mind that. See, that's what I'm, I was very concerned when I saw my legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Julie, we don't like to 
to go off subject here, if you don't mind. You like to stick right to the project. Um, she said she found a stunning piece on the side of the road. Unfortunately, it smelled from cat. <gasps> Some people in the woods, no, there's no suggestions. You'll never it, get rid that of that is the smell. one thing we have had to throw things away. It will not. Listen, okay, can we, can we have a very frank conversation right now about roadside finds? Listen, and I know a lot of people love that trash, like actual trash, to treasure, but you have to be so careful about that. We have learned over the years and, that, and then had to get rid of the stuff that's delaminating, the stuff that where the drawers need new, new runners, the things that have had a mouse nest inside of them, that have had raccoons chewing off the legs, that have, and I am thinking, oh, but we can fix it. You can't get rid of that barn smell. I'm sorry, you can't. Cat smell, and I am a cat lover, but if that is in wood, it is, it's, it's garbage. It really is, yeah. I'm sorry to say And so there you go, your free thing that you're going to spend hours and hours, and I'm telling you, lemon juice and sitting it in the sunshine is not gonna work, because the minute the humidity goes up a little bit, all that odor is gonna come through oh, again. Oh my gosh, yes. It's, it's bad. It's really so, bad. you know, I've, I've had this conversation with folks um, that talk about like pricing their, their, their pieces that they redo. Do you give a reduced price if there is cat pee? No. On a piece? Yeah, free at the okay. curb. Okay. I put it right back out on the curb. <laughs> no, actually it is, right now, it is so, so, so rare that JR and I would pick up a piece of furniture off the side of the road. We just don't because we've had too many bad experiences. So um, we have had folks that, girls that have talked to me about you know that they they are furniture flippers and and how they price their things and it's like dang that is way too low like give yourself some give allow yourself the credit and the yeah to to value the work um and then they'll say yeah but it was free it's like hey, no no it's not free because you got to put a lot of work into that free stuff a lot Okay, now we have another question, which is, what is TRX? TRX is a workout class that Mom and I took a couple classes ago, I don't mean to brag. So I consider myself, um, what would you say, an expert? No, um, I would not. Not by the looks of you yesterday. I thought I not, did great not, yesterday. You did not you know. So rude. You did not know how to Adjust your buckles, Oh, no, I can't expert. adjust it, but she, <laughs> did you not hear her say, all of these women have been with me for a year, and, and they still and they can't. Still can't. So, okay. Thank you, all right. Ruth, Miss Expert. I won't go with you again. Yes, you will. Anyway, there's this is my expert description of what it is. There are these strap things that come down from the wall, <laughs> or a, some kind of ladder thing, <laughs> and you, it's a resistance <laughs> Is that resistance? Yes, it's resistance training. Thank You're using you. your own body weight. Yes. Um, but it also helps you balance, too. So, like, if you're yes. doing a squat, God forbid, um, it just help, it helps you balance. And it takes a little pressure off, I think, your joints. I think so, too. So, that is what we did. And we did it at 6.30 in the morning. Oh, that yesterday. meant that I had to get up at 5.30. Yeah, me, too. Drive to Elmer. Well, we did it, and it felt great. And it felt okay. No, it did feel good. It really did. <laughs> Lisa said body weight. Well, forget that. I can't be asked to lift that. Well, I'm not. You're not <laughs> lifting your whole body weight. It's like just a lot. I'm not. I guess I'm not an expert. <laughs> It's not like that. <laughs> I, I know how that sounded, and I'm thinking, oh gosh, I should be a size the size yeah. of a. Uh, no, I would never. I couldn't do a single pull up to save my life. So <laughs> it's not like no, that. no, 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 no. We don't mean your actual. No, no. 
Like you but yeah. you're not holding weights. It's just it's this, it's You know what it kind of reminded me of when I had my knee surgery and I was going through physical therapy? Oh my gosh, Jane just sounds like this. Just said that sounds like PT after surgery. It does. It is, and, I guess. And, and, and I loved that. I, yeah. I love resistance training anyway. And yes, I used to have a full chest under here. Do you remember that? Probably. Fake. What? Yes, I do. That was her weightlifting days. I wasn't into that. Um, Why Linda has an inversion table. I have one too, and I love that. Um, Amy does TRX with Pilates. Okay. So I do. I also, again, I don't mean to brag. This is all very new to me, but I take a Pilates, Matt Pilates class once a week, which I really, really love. I do. I, I know you do. I'm very, very proud of you. And I know it doesn't seem like something you should be that proud of me for, but mom knows. I'm that proud of it her. It is a big deal to me. Yoga, I've always done. I've, I'm used to the kind of exercise where it's like, listen to your body. What does your body need today? And at TRX, it's like, one more squat. And that's you need not, this. Yeah, that is not my vibe. But I, I felt proud. At first, I wanted to die. And then by the end of it, I was like, I think I could do this again. And then I tried to walk down the stairs. And I thought, <laughs> I don't know if I can ever do this again. That was like <laughs> yesterday going down the stairs. Oh my gosh, I truly am like, you did better than I did. Please, please, can you help your, your old mommy? I might need a little help. The rowing machine, I know, I'm curious about that too, Nancy. I, boring. No, I think I can do that kind of stuff, and I like, I have like a Peloton, but I'm realizing that I need to like have that appointment, and somebody's like counting on me to be at that class, and then I'll go. If it's just me, I'm disappointing, I don't care. Hi, Jane. She's wondering how you like painting from your glass collection. I think what a brilliant way to use what you have. I love painting from my beautiful, beautiful cut glass collection. I love it. Right now, I'm just painting the insides of my doors here just to make them look pretty. Jane said, my body needs ice cream without gills. I know, Mom said today, I said, what's her today and she said salad I said salad we just did a TRX class yesterday we don't need a salad we don't need salad <laughs> yes it does years ago Nancy did free weight training I loved it so we're I balance loved it well. so yeah balance as my yoga instructor was just telling me because it's me and my typical hangout with women mom's age and she was just saying as we age how important balance is because we don't want to fall Cool. At first, I thought you said T-Rex. I've heard of goat yoga, so I was a bit confused. <laughs> What's yeah. goat yoga? Um, it's like you do yoga and the goats balance on you. That people is gorgeous, Nancy. I hope you can tell. Wait, wait a minute. Back the boat up here. Back the goat up. Back the goat up here. What are you talking about? It's, it was like a fad. They did it on like all the Real Housewives. You know how they go through those fads? We're going like all yes. the okay. okay. Are you going to paint or stain the inside? Asks I Eva. think I'm going to paint the inside. This is already starting to dry. I was really hoping that I could get it to dry a little bit before um, I finished up here. But yeah, the cool thing about the DIY paint is I can go back with a, a damp cloth, it reactivates. Um, with water or spit, if you're right, and um, and that's a, that's a good thing, it's a really good thing. I really want to like. I feel like it needs to smooth out. Oh, it will. This is only the first coat. Remember that. The first? No, I'm talking about the paper. What do you mean? I just I just feel like you need to like roll it. Or It'll, it will also, it will suck back in when it dries. Yeah, I know, it is a real thing. The ghost plan, I know. Get out of here. Oh my gosh, I know. Why would you want a goat to climb on you? What it, it's, Maybe it makes you balance. But, 
whole neighborhood that we have so many people show up. It's so many, it's crazy how many people want me to go shopping around. They are cute. But I would imagine they're not potty trained. Wait, for in your house goats? No, no, no. She's saying for the goat yoga. Oh, yeah. Who wants goat? A goat? Oh, my. I know the details of the wood are beautiful. So pretty. I'm going to use hemp oil on the, on the wood parts of this. Nice. But I love this marbling and how it just picks up the tones. Um, it's got that black in it. And yes, Megan is seeing some what looks like it, it might be a little uneven but it kind of bubbles a little bit as with any decoupage but once it dries it's going to suck right back down nancy said my husband saw me trip of it the other day and he went and got a handrail and told me he was going to install it on the door he made me feel so old wow that was he was right on it he does not want to take care of you if you fall <laughs> oh my gosh Susan said that looks beautiful, the paper, black, and all that. It's I think so, too. Yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. They should rename it T-Rex. I like that. They really should. <laughs> oh, Barb said it looks like her pore paintings. Yes, I bet. Yes, it does. It looks like resin, like resin pouring. Remember when I did that on the dresser? Did you end up with that dresser? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, that was such a pretty piece, wasn't it? Still it still is. It's a random of people didn't understand it, I think, at that time. Or maybe, maybe they just didn't have the right spot for it. That could be too. All right, I'm going to touch a little bit of decoupage medium under here so that I feel like I am so walking in. I don't have a good Okay, you're asking, is the decoupage queen A O size rice paper? Are you asking if this is about that size? This is. This is not a decoupage queen. I can tell you how what size it is. Hold on. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't want to. Oh God. That's literally sat exactly where you put the chair. I know. Okay. Twenty by thirty. The marble paper is. And how much are they? Eight ninety five. Eight ninety five for this big old piece. And there's of four colors. It looks four? Like. I thought we had five. No, no, no. There's five. Forgive me. Forgiven. I mean, my goodness, you could line drawers with this at that price. It really could. Arlene said a lady from the city, unfamiliar with goat who thought they were peanuts. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Nancy said he was joking, and I told him that he trips way more than me, and I knew someplace he could put that rail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh. So I'm just coming back in with my decoupage medium, and I'm pressing my edges into place, making sure that they are completely adhered. When this is all dry, I will come over this with a top coat. Do want to okay which decoupage queen are you asking about or are you just asking if we carry that size a zero yes we do have several I know, i'm just not sure what which thing she's asking about, okay. or if she sees one somewhere that's actually ash right mom the dresser behind you it is yeah we have uh, two of those that are in ash are those going up or were those custom? No, they're going upstairs. All right, look at that. How pretty. That's all finished off nicely now. Yeah, the colors are really nice together. I think so too. So what do you think, you guys? If I did if I did these legs metallic, how would that look? We have to wait and like stand back and look. Yeah, I think so too. 
you know what, I'll tell you what, these are very forgiving also to lay on to paint because there's so much pattern going on. These are also awesome for if you have a piece that has like kind of funky bubbling or veneer or whatever, it hides a multitude of sins. It really does. Sometimes I don't like a painted metallic lead. I know. It like cheapens it somehow. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes yep. it looks okay. Yep. But a, a lot, there's like a lot going on underneath there. There is. So it probably would look best if I just did them black. Yeah. Or strip them by hand. I'm not stripping these. <laughs> I can't, I can't get enough money to strip these. No. I don't think I could, I don't think you could pay me enough right now to get down on my hands no. and knees to paint these. I but but I'll give you an idea of what they would look like. Yeah, I think that is exactly what we have to do. If I were to have those metallic, it would be too many um, different textures going on, right? For sure. Okay, yes, it is metallic on the paper. And I'm sorry, I'm still not fully understanding your question. She says, the extra large, is it rice paper or tissue? Rice paper. Well, no, we have extra large tissue as well. But the zero, the decoupage queen, A0, is know. extra large. It's even bigger than the, the couple of... I don't yeah. think that's what she's asking. Oh, okay. So there's a, we, have, we sell a JRV tissue paper that is listed as extra large. And A0 is the biggest size of um, decoupage queen rice paper that we sell. I can tell you those dimensions going to answer this every way I can think of. 33 by 47 inches is the A0. And the tissue paper XL. Oh, that tissue paper XL is is also decoupage queen. Yeah, there's only a couple of those yes. that are in the in our on our site because they're Just discontinued. Two. And those are also 20 by 30. No, those are 20 by 30. That's a little smaller. Yeah. And that's a tissue paper by, those are $6. Yeah, they're the tissue. same, they're the same dimensions as like the JRV papers. I hope something I said <laughs> answered your question one way or the other. Yeah, Mara would bling it up. But I think it is blinged even on the inside. Yeah, I mean, and that's the cool thing. I mean, we, yeah, everybody has a different a style and... I mean, I could see when I, I'm going to distress this back. Actually, I'd probably put a little gold knob on it. Yes, that would be cute. Yeah, I'm going to distress this, wet distress it in Probably's, a second. I don't know what mulberry is, so I don't know what that means. Jane said that is so pretty and classy now that we can see the doors and legs. Yeah, it really is. What's mulberry? I don't know. Is it a brand of? I can't handle one more brand of paper. No, we're I'm not. Lose no, it. I really am. Our store is becoming a fire hazard. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> it's the, a lot of papers. The uh, the code enforcer might be watching. I highly, doubt it. highly. We're doubt fully it. insured. Yes. Fully insured. Yeah, that's pretty. Very pretty. And with DIY paint, as it dries, it lightens up. But when I put a finish over this, either a wax or a tough coat, or I'm sorry, a DIY um, big top, it will go back to that original pigment color. Yeah, we don't have mulberry paper, Arlinda. She no. says it has the larger, more noticeable fibers. Okay, oh. she's asking, in your opinion, do you find the rice paper easier to work with? Does it lay flatter? And I'm assuming you mean um, easier than the tissue paper. Yes. But for sure. My body does need a shamrock McFlurry, Leah. You are not kidding. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I didn't even realize how much I needed it until you said it. But I'll never get away with it without taking my kids with me. <laughs> Which is fine. 
I love the way this is looking. Yep, definitely. Now, I wouldn't be opposed to just a tiny touch of gold, like at the very bottom. Yeah. Right? That just would be touch. pretty. I always suggest gold, but I don't. A lot of times I just mean a little tiny bit. So let me just show you how I would go about wet distressing this. Um, I'll have to go back and do it again anyway, but I'm just going to take a damp cloth. I should have a few of these damp cloths. And I'm going to rub back. Now, this is what's cool. That finish underneath, remember that yellow, goldy kind of yellow? Like, this reads almost as a little bit of a gold yeah, it does. embellishment, it does. right? Even though it's not metallic. So, I don't know if you want to get a little bit closer, maybe, can they, so you can see. But I'm going to take advantage of that paint color that's underneath. I love wet distressing Debbie's DIY and revealing layers, but look at that. I mean, that's cool. Yeah, that looks really, really good. Yep. Right here. Almost looks like a little sunflower on there. It really does, it's really cute. Then if you wanted to go in with a, just a touch of gilding wax, <laughs> just a touch on the details. Maybe. Um, I'm just gonna distress this a little bit. I don't wanna, like, I don't really wanna make this trim all that underneath color, I only want to expose it a little bit, and I don't even know if I'll be doing that. I might paint back over it. I don't know. Okay. I'll have to see. But look at that. Look at how that just brings out that detail just enough. Of course, I have to stand back a little bit. Really pretty. Yep. yep. Honestly, yep. it does look gold. It does, doesn't it? Yes. So pretty, you guys. It'll be a nice little bling. Yes. Yeah. yeah, just a little. I don't know if I have. Hmm. I think. Gilding wax? No, I no. can't. I'm not going to put any gilding wax on it. You don't know. Now. Not now. But like this was originally on it. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I mean, look at that. No, I don't think so. Because remember, I got all that wood going on, too. But, oh my goodness. Yeah, I kind of love this, you guys. It is crazy how much that looks like gold underneath. It really does. And all it is is old-fashioned, um, whatever that is. Antiquing. <laughs> antique gold color, whatever that gold color antiquing was. It was not metallic, guys. It was not. But Nancy mm -hmm. said, gild those babies. Gild the babies. <laughs> Gilled the babies. What do we think? Oh my love gosh. It. I really, really love this. So, hopefully, by the end of the week, by the weekend, I'll, by have, the week's this, end. I'll have this little radio cabinet done. We will have it up on the floor, and we will have it listed on our website for purchase. What do you have to say, Arlinda? Oh, yeah. She's going to be a director of a nonprofit. Nice. What one? Well, congratulations. That's exciting, right? Yeah. Gonna 
to wrap it up for us today because obviously I need to do a little bit more work on this. Um, what I can do, maybe, what's our time like? We are at 226, Mom. Okay, so yeah, I think we better wrap it up or this is going to be way too long. Of course, we'll keep you updated. So let's, let's take a look at this again. How pretty is this piece? I love it. Remember what it was like before? Nancy's wondering if you would put this in your suitcase and not bring it to Georgia. <laughs> what hi, Nancy. It really is cool. It's, it's not even done. No, it's not. It's beautiful. So here's what I'm going to do, you guys. I'm going to put a second coat of the black, and then I'll, I'll probably wax over it with black wax. And add the knobs. I'm going to paint up the legs with black. I'll probably finish that real quick today. I will need to decoupage the interior of the other door, but isn't that a nice, I, I just think that's so pretty to open that up. Yeah. And then there you have a little peek that pretty, pretty marble, which kind of goes with this wood too. I agree that the medallions look like sunflowers. They do. Yeah. So I will um, take some steel wool to this top. Make sure that it's all cleaned up, and then I'm going to use some hemp oil, which will moisturize and revitalize this yes. wood top. She's going to put hemp oil on the top, on the, all the wood, yep. And I think that that will really richen it. Always. It will be so pretty, you guys. Check out these papers, the other colors. Oh, they're gorgeous. You are going to love them. They're gorgeous. There's a little touch of something on there. Like someone where they stripped. But I think we'll give we'll give the inside um, a paint job. And there we have it. What beautiful. a beautiful cabinet. Well done, JR. Yeah. With rebuilding the inside. Look at the difference in this, honey. Oh. <laughs> I know, isn't that crazy? It's really cool, so. Oh, I like that. Very nice. Yeah. So we'll give Jr. a big round of applause for his carpentry skills. Oh, yep. Beautiful. And, and we will, um, we will wrap this up. So, you guys, thank you so much for watching again. It's going to take a little while for this video to upload. But we'll we'll get all the links put in the description, and um, I think Megan has shared some links in the comments for the marbled papers. Yes, I did share that. And uh, you know all of our other DIY Debbie stuff is you can find those links in most places on our videos. So there you go. You guys have a wonderful whoops. whoops. I have to give my kids. <laughs> okay, perfect timing. Have a wonderful day today. Um, stay safe. And we will see you uh, Friday. Yes. Live upstairs, where I am going to do a project live with one of the new IOD products. So stay tuned. See you then. Bye, guys. Bye bye.